Hey, do you guys remember when I used to do exploring casino videos? Well, guess what? I'm gonna do another one. And it's on this place. And the reason why I'm exploring the Tropicana is because they recently announced that they are going to close on April the 2nd. So I feel like it'd be a good idea if I did a walkthrough of this property. Property? <laughs> no, property before it closes. So we're just gonna do that real quick. Roar. Oh man, that's a nice sound here, isn't it, huh? So this place opened back in the 1950s, and I believe it's one of the oldest casinos on the strip. And uh, as you can tell, it is fortunately not in the best shape. <laughs> so the corner of, like the outside of this property has like a pretty weird looking lawn area. It used to have way more trees back in the day, but unfortunately it looks like they've been letting it go. But there's probably no point in even keeping up this place because you know they're going to close it soon. And then there's the valet area. So across the street from this place, you got the MGM Grand, New York, New York, and the Excalibur. And this just show how long it's been since they've like cleaned this place up or like did anything with it. Look how faded this 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 whatever this is is. <laughs> wow. Got this weird, like, man-made rock formation. I think there was probably, like, water here at some point or something. And then here's, like, a like a little kiosk. Cut down palm trees. There used to be, like, a neon waterfall going down from, like, the top all the way to the bottom of this tower. But in 2010, they did, like, a renovation and they removed the whole thing. Actually, I just now realized you can see where the bulbs were for the waterfall right over here. All those like little holes. That was where like the neon and the bulbs were supposed to be for the waterfall, the neon waterfall. They just never got rid of it for some reason. Also, they have purple rain and MJ Live. And again, the reason why I'm gonna be doing a video on the Tropicana is they're gonna be closing on April 2nd and will be demolished for a baseball stadium apparently for the A's. That's our new team apparently. I'm on the pedestrian bridge that goes to the MGM Grand. We're gonna enter through this entrance. Oh yeah, they also have the Laugh Factory. Uh, they're pretty popular, I guess. Let's get it started, and huh? Let's get it started in here. So this place is currently owned by Bally. Yes, the same people that brought you Bally's. Though they're now it's the horseshoe, and it's owned by Caesars. Anyways, let's just go through here. Oh my gosh, infinite money, whoa. Filming in progress. Attention, you are entering a filming area. Yeah, because I'm filming. <laughs> okay, you got Red Lotus, the Asian Kitchen, and Robert Irvine's, which is, I guess they're like signature restaurant or something. I've never had it before, but it could be good. I don't know, or not, maybe. Then this is where you would enter from the Val Airy valet area and then you might notice there's actually like a really cool like stained glass ceiling that they've had since the 80s it's actually really cool looking and also we got a gift shop right here do people still buy like postcards and stuff oh this is all glittery uh, uh. oh okay i was expecting to have like a bunch of glitter on my hand oh uh oh get it off get it off this place actually smells really good. It gives me like Mirage vibes, kind of. Mmm. Here is some more of that stained glass ceiling. I don't know what they're gonna do with it when they close, but I hope they keep like a little chunk of it or something. Cause this is actually really cool looking. Yeah. Noise. You got this casino area. It's actually kind of quiet in here. I like that. I like quiet places. Yes. I saw this area in a liminal space subreddit once. I wonder what this used to be. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder what this spot used to be. Maybe like a ballroom or something? I don't know. Pretty spoopy. I like this like big whatever this is. What are these? Are these supposed to be like bamboo shoots or something? It actually looks kind of cool. They're all like tied up and stuff. It's pretty nice. Ooh. 
it's very um, I don't know how to describe this cool I guess pretty modern I found out what this used to be this was the Havana room I still don't know what that is very minimalistic lobby area very minimalistic this place is called Chinlim Chilim Bar and Frozen Cocktails Awesome Chilim It's time to sip, savor, and smile La Vaza Okay, so I know this is like a really old casino and stuff But like This ceiling is a bit Too low for me Oh, hello They have a La Vaza coffee shop and apparently, it's also called Trop Coffee. Noise. And again, why is the ceiling so low? This is probably like an extremely old part of the casino, because I know most of the old casinos back in the day did not have like very, very, very high ceilings like nowadays. So this is a bit, a bit claustrophobic for anyone that has like that phobia. Also, what happened here? They got this big part of the casino where you can like sign up for their rewards club. I think it's called just Tropicana Rewards. And yeah, it's very empty. Anyways, I'm just gonna go up here. And here is a view from the upstairs area of the casino. Very spacious, if I do say so myself. Huh, what is this very ominous looking hallway lay to? I'm gonna go over here. Uh, what the heck is this area? Am I allowed to be in here? What the fuck? There is like no music over here. Okay, so I think this is where the entrance to the laugh factory is. I don't know if I'm allowed to be over here. I hope I don't get like caught or anything. You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna go down here. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna leave real quick. I'm actually, I'm actually kind of scared. What is this place? It likes, it looks so like completely different compared to the rest of the casino. And like. It's very liminal, like very backrooms-esque. Another infinite mirror. Hello. Oh, this is so weird. And check out that ceiling. That That is not just like a popcorn ceiling. That is like... I don't know how to describe it. It's... I don't know what's more popcorn than this. Uh, anyways, I'm just gonna go back downstairs. I'm just gonna leave. I'm scared. <laughs> Back to civilization. Yay. And now I have to make my way back upstairs. Because it just led me down an entire circle. Uh-oh. Okay, so this sign confirms that was where you would enter the laugh factory. Okay. I'm glad I know about that now. Because that was very, very ominous. Ball plant, ball plant. It's a ball plant. Check out this really old, like, Welcome to Las Vegas gift shop. It's very like 90s slash early 2000s and it's all like like boarded up and stuff. That is weird. I think I've seen this place open before but it's been like such a long time since I've entered this place so I don't know. There's me again, hi! So you got like two restaurants over here. This is Baccio and there's no chairs. And then over here is, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, so this is Oakville, the steakhouse. I wonder if this was good back in the day. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Then over here, there's like this bridge that goes to the other side of the property. And if you look over here, here's their pool area. Okay, maybe this isn't the best view, but look, there's a waterfall and a bridge. Nice. So from doing my research, uh, apparently, like way back in the 80s and 90s, this was like a, a bird exhibit and there'd be like birds and like parrots and stuff in these like sky bridge or something. I wonder what that was like. That must have been really cool. Yeah, I like this area. But nowadays it's all just like weird shops and stuff. Also, this pool area used to be called the Island of Las Vegas, if I remember correctly. I might be wrong on that, but this was like one of the poles to be in back in the day. Back in the vintage Las Vegas times. 
nowadays it's a uh, I mean pretty average I guess now. Holy crap, they turned the Luxor into a Dorito. World's largest Dorito. Another part of the pool. It's closed for the season and that's probably closed forever now. Rest in peace. You got a charging station for all your charging needs. You know, like some tables to look out into the pool area and also other hotels and casinos and stuff. Then down over here, there's like a conference center for all your conference e-needs. And also a little spa called Glow. A Mandera Spa. You also have this like little seating area, which is actually pretty rare in casinos because if it's not if it's not a race and sports book then you cannot sit ever if i remember correctly they recently made it so that you couldn't like have legitimate grass and like lawns and stuff they had to make it so that you could only use like turf and stuff because you know like droughts like water usage and stuff so everyone's just been converting to turfs and over here this is their island wedding chapel you could have weddings here at one point. That's pretty awesome, I guess. I wonder what the last wedding here is gonna be like. If there will be one. Another really quiet area. It's so quiet in here. What's this area? Oh, the Trinidad Pavilion and meeting rooms. Let's go over there. Okay, I think there's actually something going on in there, so I'm not gonna go over there. I love whispering. What is this? Is this their coffee shop? Another coffee shop. Okay, so this is the Barista Cafe. And it is very closed. Hmm, some pretty exquisite works of art. Very exquisite. MJ Live, just in case Michael Jackson won at the Mandalay Bay wasn't good enough for you. Hmm, some more exquisite works of art. Very nice, very modern. So the Tropicana has two hotel towers. This one is the... Hold on, let me just look at the sign real quick. Uh... Uh, club tower. Okay. And then the one that's over there, that's the Paradise Tower, I think. So I've been in this, like, casino for, like, I think half an hour now. And all I've been hearing was, like, people talking about them, how they're going to, like, demolish this casino for that ballpark. That is actually going to kind of suck. Because, like, ballparks cause, like, a lot of traffic within the casino. That's, like, one of the biggest complaints I've been hearing about them turn this down and this is also like a very historic casino uh, like i said in the beginning this casino opened back in the 1950s so it's literally one of the oldest casinos in las vegas the others i think are the sahara the and the flamingo uh probably got something else but i don't know i mean circus circus and caesar's palace those are also really old but those are from the 50s those are both from the 60s so these hotel rooms with the balconies, these are like the oldest hotel rooms on the Tropicana. The only other hotel on the Strip that has balconies is the Cosmopolitan, and that's like a much newer hotel, which is surprising. I think the Horseshoe, one of the Horseshoe Towers, I think it's the Jubilee Tower, that one's gonna have balconies soon. But that's a part of Paris now, now it's called the Versailles Tower, if that's how you pronounce it correctly. Versailles. Mm. So yeah, we're finally gonna have a hotel, another hotel with balconies. But that's like a for like a very specific set of rooms too, so it doesn't even matter anyways. Anyways, then there's Oyo. That used to be called the Hooters. I should probably do a video on that soon. Going back into the casino, yeah. Then over here you got your high limit lounge, table games and slots and stuff. Pretty cool. And then over here, this is the Trago Lounge. The Trago. The Trago Lounge. Sounds like Drago. Dragon. Roar. That's a face if I've ever seen one. Oh. Okay, good. That was. I don't I don't want to see that face ever again. Got like a little theater space over here where they showed that Murray guy. That creepy Murray guy. It said on the screen that it was from Pawn Stars and YouTube. That is the strangest set of places for like a popular person to be from, for like a celebrity to be in a showroom. Oh yeah, you also got Rich Little, live in Las Vegas. Yay! And also Purple Rain. The Prince tri Tribute Show. I almost said Tribute, I need to stop saying Tribute. It's Tribute, not Tribute. 
Ah, at first I thought this statue was going to be like made out of nickels and quarters or something, but no, it's just weird looking statue. Also a rental car place. Nice. <laughs> and unfortunately that's going to be it for a tour of the Tropicana. Hope you liked it. This is probably going to be the last time I ever visit this place before they close, so... Everyone say bye to the Tropicana. Bye. Goodbye, Tropicana. I'll miss you, I guess. No. What? Oh, say can you see? I don't really know.